Smell smoke. Are they using gunpowder? They've completely blindsided us. It appears that everything else they've done today was to serve as a decoy, even making the tanks go haywire. Right. It looks like their real target was the railway guns all along. Which means they must be serious about targeting that trade conference in Crossbell City. Wouldn't. Oh, oh, can they possibly sink? So, they're intent on taking the Chancellor's head after all. Resorting to such wanton violence? This is absolutely outrageous. <sighs> Please, let us help. We don't know if reinforcements are on the way, and it doesn't look like we have much time left. We have to stop them before they can activate the railway guns. Rain's right. I don't know how much we can really do, but considering the alternative, we have to try. Right. We're about to let those terrorists have their way. <sighs> Looks like any attempt to convince you otherwise would fall on deaf ears. All right. Rain, you and the rest of Group A are with me. Group B, you'll be under the command of Major Nightheart. One group will secure the gun in the right wing. 
The other group will secure the left. This is an actual combat situation with real lives at stake. I expect the best from each of you. Yes, sir. All right, Class 7. Our objective is to stop the activation of the railway guns. We've learned a lot at the Academy. It's time to put that knowledge to the test. Understood! during their field study. Mechanical monstrosities. Save the talkie for later. We need to take these things out. Got it. Here they come. Be careful, everyone. Okay. Those things were the same as the one we fought outside the Graham. It seems a large number of them are on the loose inside the fortress. I'm guessing that's what got the soldiers we just saw, too. It seems so. So these are archaisms. Are you certain, Instructor? 
Yeah, they're a kind of autonomous weapon made by a rather unsavory group, and a real pain to deal with, too. We need to hurry, but keep your wits about you. Right. Good. Here they come! Be careful, everyone! Leave it to me! It's my turn! My turn! My turn! Leave it to me! Here goes. will fall before my blade.
are we? This must be Borelli Academy. You can see Crossbell State on the other side. There! Those are... The railway guns. They're enormous. Damn! How did they manage to get them prepped so fast? Don't tell me they're just gonna let them rip without even setting a target! Instructor! Well, they're certainly not shy about bringing out the big guns. Ugh! We don't have time for this! We need to take these things out fast! Right there with you! Let's send these Cretans to the scrap heap. Here they come. Stay focused, class. Yeah. Yeah. My turn. My turn. Flames, gamble on my plane.
can do this. Self-destruct mechanism. Is the cowardice no no bounds? We're running out of time. I'm gonna go on ahead. Follow me as soon as you're sure it's safe to.
The Ministry of Railways wishes to thank all passengers for their patronage. This train is bound for Bereahard via Keldic. The next stop is Trista. Trista. We will be stopped at Trista for one minute. When disembarking, please ensure no belongings are left behind. Almost there. Man, spring's really in full bloom here, huh? Back home, there was still so much snow on the ground, I hardly even realized it. Those Lino flowers? I've never seen so many all blossoming at once. I'll be spending the next two years here. Wonder how long it'll be before I think of it as home. But yeah, I think I'm going to like it. Uh -huh. Ouch! Whoa, sorry about that. Are you okay? I should have picked a better place to take in the scenery. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I should have been paying more attention to where I was going instead of gawking at the flowers. It's really a pretty town, though, isn't it? Just like a postcard. Yeah, I guess that's the magic of springtime for you. I hope everything in your case is okay. Oh, don't worry about that. It'll be fine. Hey, you've got the red uniform too, huh? Yeah. But, now that you mention it, almost everyone else on the train had a green jacket. You're one of the few I've seen in red. I didn't really think about it until now. I just put on the uniform they sent me. I hadn't given it much thought until I got here either. But yeah, like you said, there have been a few others sporting them too, so I doubt it's a mistake. Maybe it means we'll end up being classmates. Hmm. <laughs> anyway, I should get going. I've got a feeling we'll see each other again at the entrance ceremony, though. I totally forgot to ask your name. Oh well, I'm sure we'll run into each other later. She's right, though. It is weird that there are so few of us in red. Are there even enough to make a class? Ordman they sent with the uniform is pretty strange, too. It sure looks a lot fancier than your standard issue ordment, that's for sure. Eh, I guess there's no point in racking my brain over it. Someone will probably explain it during orientation. Thor's military academy is on the north side of town. I've still got some time to look around before the entrance ceremony, but it'd be pretty awkward to be late the first day.
I shall take my leave here, milady. I pray you find victory here in both your studies and your training. Thank you, Klaus. I'm leaving everything in your hands while Father is away. Understood, milady. Please excuse my rudeness, young sir. It truly is a splendid day, is it not? The start of a new chapter in the lives of so many promising youths. Allow me to express my sincerest congratulations on your admittance into this fine academic institution. Oh. Thank you very much. I'm guessing he's a butler? He certainly looks the part. That means the girl with him must have been a noble. She did have a certain dignity about her. I wonder if she's from a famous military family or something. So this is it. Thor's Military Academy. Founded by the legendary Emperor Dreykels himself. Thank you for your patience, sir. We've arrived at the Academy. Much obliged. Please, if you'll allow me to take your luggage. That won't be necessary. I prefer to avoid standing out too much. Uh, but, sir... This isn't open for debate. Take whatever rest you need, then return to Berea hard. As you wish. I shall be departing, sir. May your time spent in these hallowed halls be all you've hoped for. Limousine, and one of Reinford's fanciest models, too. Looks like even Erebonia's upper crusts send their children here. Pleasure to meet you. But how do you know me? <laughs> it's a long story. Don't sweat the details right now. Is that your weapon you've got wrapped up? I'll need to hold on to that for the time being. Oh, right. It mentioned something about that in the guidebook. Thanks. You should be able to return it to you before long. You'll hardly even miss it. The entrance ceremony is going to be held in the auditorium. Just head straight back. You can't miss it. Anyway. 
Anyway, I hope you enjoy your first day at Thor's. We're glad to have you. I hope these next two years will be a fruitful time for you. I guess those two must be second years? That girl definitely looked younger than me, though. What was that about me being the last? I'm not seriously the very last student to check in. Sounds like it's about time for the ceremony to start, though. Well, here's to the start of a great two years. Now, if I may, I'd like to say a few words in closing about this Academy's illustrious history. Thor's Military Academy was founded almost 220 years ago. Its founder, as I'm sure you're all aware, was none other than the great Emperor Dreykos. The very same Emperor who ended the War of the Lions and returned prosperity to the Erebonian Empire. Thirty years after becoming Emperor, in the later years of his life, he opened the doors of this institution. It was to be a place where young people like yourselves could learn the art of war. But with the mechanization of the military, many of our graduates now pursue careers outside the army. Our mission, however, remains the same. To prepare our students to fulfill Emperor Dreykel's famous mandate. Arise, O oh youth! and become the foundation of the world. Though much has happened these past two and a quarter centuries, the world is still the domain of the young. Yet still the question remains, what qualities must one possess to become a part of its foundation? I hope this credo will serve as a guide and an inspiration to you during your two years at this academy. Go forth, my students. The world awaits the great things you will one day accomplish. The foundation of the world, huh? <laughs> no pressure, right? <laughs> no kidding. Though, this is Dreykel's the Lionheart we're talking about. He didn't earn his nickname by taking the easy road. Guess we've got more to worry about than just passing exams, huh? <laughs> I guess we do. I'm Elliot Craig. Nice to meet you. Reen Schwarzer. Hey, looks like we're sporting the same school fashion. Yeah, no idea what the red uniform is supposed to mean, though. Most of the other students are wearing green. Well, except for the ones in the white uniforms. Looks that way. Though... Hmm? Something wrong? Nah. Just... And that brings us to the close of Thor's 215th entrance ceremony. Next, please proceed to the class designated in your guidebook. There, you will go over the school rules as well as your class's curriculum. That is all. Dismissed! The class designated in our guidebook? I don't remember seeing anything like that. There wasn't any information on that in mine either. I just assumed they'd tell us where to go after the- All right! Students in red uniforms, if I can have your attention, please. By now, you're probably all confused. Where's my class assignment, you're probably thinking? That's perfectly understandable. Yours. But before I explain, I'd like all of you to join me for a special orienteering exercise. What? Did you mean an orientation exercise? Hmm. Worry not. Everything will be made clear soon enough. 
now. Right this way, if you would. Um... Looks like we're gonna have to follow her if we want any answers. <sighs> what do you think this is all about? I have no idea, but we're not going to accomplish anything just standing around here. We should go with her. This place. Why is there a building this dilapidated on campus? It looks like it should have been torn down ages ago. <laughs> what does she even want us to do here? Uh, is she ever gonna tell us what's going on? I suppose we'll just have to go inside and see for ourselves what awaits us. This place looks like some old haunted mansion or something. Now that you mention it, it kind of does. I think this is everyone I've seen with a red uniform so far. I guess we really are part of the same class then. So, these are our new underclassmen, huh? Yep. They've got a different set of hoops to jump through than we did, though. I'm just happy all our work's paying off. I'd hate to have put in a year's worth of effort for nothing. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? Wait, when did you do any work? You were just slacking off the whole time. <laughs> Says the master slacker. Still, looks like Elisa's got some stiff competition. Quite a bevy of beauties they've got there. And I'm looking forward to getting intimately acquainted with each and every one of them. Oh, you know one of them? Er, wait. No, no, not these ones too. Stop flirting with every damn girl you lay eyes on. Do you have any idea how many guys at this school have gotten their hearts broken because of your libido? <laughs> did, did you just sneer at me? Oh, you did, didn't you? Come on now, no fighting, you two. Well, look who finally made it. Nice work. You got our little chickadees all sorted out, I take it? Yep, they're all bright-eyed and ready to go. So from here on out, we're gonna have to give it all we've got to support this fledgling class. <laughs> now you sound the part of the student council president. Guess she's going all in. Well, they'd be in for a pretty rough time if we didn't help out a little. At least to start with, anyway. Everything's ready over there, right? You betcha. Just like the instructor asked. Can't help but feel a little sorry for them, though. Same here. They've got no idea what they're being tossed into. The class they've been picked for didn't even exist before this year. Guess all we can do is watch and see what they're made of, right? The name's Sarah Valestein. I'm the instructor in charge of Class 7, which means you get the pleasure of seeing me all year. Glad to finally meet you. Wait, Class 7? Uh, uh, 
us? I'm not sure I understand. I wasn't told anything about this at enrollment. Excuse me, Instructor Sarah? I was under the impression that there were only five classes at this academy, and that students were split among them based on their social class and home region. Right you are, Miss Top Scorer on the Thor's entrance exam. Students in each year are divided into five classes, two for the nobility and three for commoners. And it's been that way for ages, right up through last year. But this year, we decided to shake things up a little. Wh what do you... We now have a sixth class. Fittingly titled, Class 7. And in Class 7, we recognize no distinction between nobles and commoners. Wait, you just jumped straight from 5 to 7? Y you're really putting nobles and commoners in the same class? <laughs> this must be some kind of joke. And why is this the first I've heard of it? Well, uh... Um... Who are you again? Machias Regnitz. And with all due respect, Instructor, it's ludicrous to intermix nobles and commoners like this. Must I be forced to spend my next two years shoulder to shoulder with those arrogant, stuck-up hedonists? Uh, you do know I'm not the one who made the decision, right? Besides, what's the big deal anyway? You're all kids. Can't you all just get along or something? Is it just get along? <laughs> and how would you propose we do that? <laughs> what's your problem? Oh, nothing much. I just find the irony of your behavior rather humorous. Is that so? It seems the scion of some noble house has left the comfort of his mansion to grace the unwashed masses with his wisdom. Please, my lord, do share your esteemed name with us so I can give you all the respect you deserve. Eusus Alborea. Not that I'd expect the name of an arrogant, stuck-up hedonist to lodge itself in that hard head of yours. He's from one of the four great houses! The son of Duke Alborea, Lord of the Kreutzen province in the southeast. Well, you don't get much more noble than that. Interesting. I'd heard the rumors. Do you expect me to be impressed? Your family lineage means nothing to me. I'll never bend my knee to the likes of... Okay, okay, that's enough. I'm sure a couple of you have a few grievances, but now's not the time. I'll hear your complaints later. Right now, you've got your orienteering exercise, and far be it for me to keep you from our fun little icebreaker. <sighs> you mentioned this orienteering exercise earlier. What exactly does that involve? It's a form of outdoor competition, isn't it? Something like a cross between a map reading exercise and a scavenger hunt? <sighs> Is that why they asked us to hand over our weapons at the gate? Nothing gets by you, does it? But I don't want to spoil the fun, so let's get started, shall we? What? <gasps> oh, crap. What? No cheating. You're going with them and that's that. What's the point in having an icebreaker if you don't make a couple of new friends? Ugh, lame. Oh, what 
just happened? The floor gave out from under us. I can't believe I fell for such an obvious trap. Does this mean there's a series of catacombs beneath the school grounds then? What does that woman think she's playing at? out of my chest. Hey, Reen, are you... Okay... Easy now. Hands where she can see them. A bit awkward. <laughs> yeah, I'm really sorry about that. Still, I'm just glad you're okay. That's what's really important here, right? anyway I was wondering the same thing we should check out those tables what? is this it's coming from the devices we received with the Academy guidebook seems to be some sort of portable ornament right you are these handy little devices are a special kind of battle ornament is that Miss Valestine? So, these devices have built-in communications functionality, then? W wait Don't tell me these things are... New model battle ornaments made through a partnership between the Epstein Foundation and Reinford Company. Newly made fifth-generation battle ornaments, in fact. They're called Arcus units. Arcus. So, these are battle ornaments. That means they'll allow us to use arts, right? Sure will. Just set a quartz into one of its slots and you can use arts all the live long day. Which is why I've prepared enough quartz for each and every one of you. The weapons you brought are all here too. Each package neatly along a little box containing the quartz. Find yours and try setting the quartz into your arcus. Hmm. I suppose it can't hurt to try. <sighs> what is this woman thinking? I see mine over there. Let me just go grab it, okay? in the center of your Arcus, you'll be able to use arts. Go on, give it a try.
your art guests. Congratulations! Now you can use arts as much as you want. These Arcus units have plenty more nifty features. But I wouldn't want to bombard you with too much info all at once, so we'll cover those another time. Anyway, since you've got your Arcus all set up and ready to go, here's what I want you to do. When you step through that door, you'll be in an underground testing area. Basically, it's a dungeon. It's pretty large and full of twists and turns. I'd almost guarantee you'll get lost at least once. But when you find the exit, you'll be able to return to the first floor of this old schoolhouse. There are monsters wandering around though, so don't let your guard down even for a moment. With all that said, let's commence our special orienteering exercise. Your objective is to make your way through this area and back to the surface. Make it back in one piece, and I'll be happy to field any complaints you might have. If you make it back safely, I might even give you a kiss. Free of charge. On the cheek, of course. Uh, um... I don't think she's joking. Just where do you think you're going? Were you planning to wander off on your own without saying anything? I have no interest in becoming friends with anyone here. And I'm surprised that you, of all people, give a damn what I do. Unless you've suddenly decided you do want to keep company with one of those stuck-up hedonists, after all. <sighs> Still, if you're afraid of the monsters, I suppose I could accompany you. After all, what kind of Erebonian noble would I be if I didn't have at least some degree of prowess with a sword? And noblesse oblige dictates that it's my sacred duty to protect powerless commoners such as yourself. What, what the hell? Nobody's asking your High Excellency to deign to help us! But if that's how you're gonna be, I'll just find my way out of here before you! I'm perfectly capable of taking care of myself without some relic of an outdated class system dragging me down. <sighs> um... What should we do? The only thing we can do. We should begin exploring these ruins ourselves. I believe it would be prudent to remain in small groups, however. Would the two of you have any objections to accompanying me? Oh, no, that's fine. It would be a huge help, actually. And you're welcome to join us as... Well... I suppose that's a no. Perhaps we'll run into her along the way, and she can join us then. So, shall we be off? I'm certain you gentlemen will be fine, but do take care. Okay. If you'll excuse us, please. Hmm. Huh. <laughs> Not such a hot first impression there, huh? You can say that again. I'll have to clear things up with her later. Anyway, how do you guys want to do this? Should the three of us stick together too? Sounds good to me. I'd get pretty anxious wandering around a place like this alone. No objections here. I'd be happy to accompany you. I've introduced myself yet. My name is Gaius Warzel. I just arrived in the Empire, so any help you can offer would be much appreciated. Oh, so you're from abroad? <laughs> I'd been wondering. My name's Reen Schwarzer. It's nice to meet you. I'm Elliot Craig. So, you fight with that? Of course. Why else would I be carrying it? 
It's a spear, but it has that odd cross-shaped head. It looks kind of awesome. Think of it as combining the best parts of a spear and a poleaxe. Sounds pretty handy with it back home. But speaking of weapons, I have to say, yours looks pretty unique. Oh, this thing. Is it a staff? Wait, no. It's an ornament, isn't it? Both, actually. It's an orbal staff. The tech is pretty recent. This one's still a prototype, more or less. Back during enrollments, they told me I had some aptitude for it. So when it came time to choose, I just sort of ran with it. Interesting. I've never seen anything like it before. Can't say I have, either. They're still in development, apparently, so there aren't too many around just yet. But that said, I'm curious about what you've got there, Reen. Oh, my sword? Yeah, but what kind of sword is it? It's different from the kinds of swords I thought the people in the Empire used, though. It's an Eastern style of saber called Itachi. Any way you slice it, though, it's basically a longsword. Wow, that's one beautiful blade. The craftsmanship looks exceptional. They're renowned for the layering of their steel and the sharpness of their edge. Truth be told, though, I'm still a little hesitant to be swinging around something this dangerous. Seriously? If that's what hesitant looks like, I'll bet confidence will make you unstoppable. Well, you sound like a good guy to have around when the going gets tough. Speaking of which, I think we've been standing around long enough. We should really be getting ourselves into trouble. I think I can manage that. You saw it yourselves. Trouble has a way of dropping in on me. Let's take it slow and steady, though. We need to adapt to each other's fighting styles to really gel as a team. Got it. Monster! Huh, never seen this kind before. It looks like a flying. If it's a fight they want. My turn! Ah. Oh, we 
did it! Please tell me there aren't more of those things lurking around here. I hate to tell you, but I can sense more further in. Anyway, let's just stay alert. Seems to be a treasure chest here. Chance. We can do this! Okay? I'm starting to lose my sense of direction down here. Yeah.
have to fight.
I go where the wind takes me. Injuries. I, I'm okay. I was just so relieved the fight was over. The strength kind of just left my legs. I'm amazed how calm you two are. You don't seem tired or worried or anything. I guess I'm just used to fighting monsters like these. You need a hand? N no, I'll be fine. It was just a momentary lapse on my part. I can get up. And there we go. Look out! Elliot! Huh? Looks like I made it just in time. Thank Adios for that. Oh, it's you! You said your name was Machias, right? That's right. I came to realize that I shouldn't have just stormed off like I did. I let that arrogant noble goad me into losing my composure, acting on impulse. So I just wanted to say, I'm sorry. I acted foolishly, and I hope you can forgive me for it. A sweat. Water under the bridge. Yeah, we all have moments when we say or do things we regret. That's human nature for you. Oh, and thanks for saving me, by the way. I'm just glad I happened to be passing by. After I'd cooled my head, I decided to retrace my steps and... There you are. Is it just the three of you here? Yeah. We stood around talking for a while, so the others are probably ahead of us at this point. I don't think there's any reason to go back any farther. I can't imagine you'll find anyone there. I see. Uh, I... I don't suppose you'd mind if I came with you, would you? I'm reasonably skilled with a gun, so you might find it useful having me along. Sure thing. Welcome aboard. The name's Reen Schwarzer. I'm Elliot Craig. It's nice to meet you. My name is Guy Schwarzel. It's a pleasure. The pleasure's mine, I assure you. My name is Machias Regnitz. Could... Could I ask you what social class you each belong to? I realize how that must sound, uh, considering my recent outburst. But please, don't take it personally. I'm simply curious to know who I'm associating with. Um, well, both my parents are commoners. Likewise. Though my homeland has no class system to begin with. Ah, so you're from abroad then? What about you, Reen? Well... Let's just say I haven't got a drop of noble blood in my veins. So I guess we're all in equal standing here. Well, now that's a relief. We should probably get moving then. Somewhat concerned about the girls, as you might imagine. I'd feel much better if we were around to help if they wound up in danger. Yeah, I suppose there's strength in numbers. All right, let's go. Place like this even doing on the school grounds. Yeah, who puts a giant trap door in a campus building? Now's our chance! My 
turn. My turn. Unbeatable. Let's keep moving. Great! <laughs> I did it! Just getting started. moving.
Give it up, everyone! Leave it to me. Safe for now. We meet again. <sighs> Good to see you guys are hanging in there. The four of you are unharmed as well. Well, it seems you've cooled your head a bit, at least. <sighs> yes, I've calmed down now. At any rate, I don't believe I've introduced myself yet, have I? I'm Laura S. Arsaid, from the town of Lagram. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Huh. Lagram. That's down on the southeastern outskirts of the Empire, isn't it? Correct. It's an old castle town on the shores of Lake Ebel. We're connected to the rest of the country by train, but other than that, it's a fairly remote region. Hmm. That name. Wait. So your father would be. Yes. My father is Viscount Arsaid, Lord of Lagram. Do you take issue with that? Uh, no, not at all. <laughs> Machias, was it? I can only speak for myself, but I don't feel I've ever done anything to bring shame upon myself in Adios' eyes. And I fully believe the same to be true of my father. Uh, please, I meant no offense. I'm sorry if... if, if I... Uh, say, I don't believe we've been introduced. I'm Emma Milstein. Like Laura, I come from a distant region of the Empire. I was only able to attend Thor's thanks to a scholarship, in fact. It's very nice to meet you. A scholarship? Hmm, indeed. Now that you mention it, our instructor did say yours was the top score on the entrance exam. <sighs> to think I was outdone, then. By a girl, no less. <laughs> you must be quite the prodigy. <laughs> Maybe it seems like it now, but really, I'm not. I don't have any training in the martial arts either, so this is the weapon they recommended for me. Oh, cool! You got an orbital staff too. Yours looks different from mine, though. Huh, so it does. I wonder if it's just cosmetic. Huh. Hmm? Is something the matter? We're all acquainted now. It's only proper that you introduce yourself. Yeah, yeah, okay. I'm Lisa R. from Ruwer. It's a pleasure to meet almost all of you. Hmm. Uh, Elisa. Ruer, huh? What's it like living there? There's probably a new technological breakthrough every week. 
The Reinford Company is based in Ruhr, and they're the largest heavy industry corporation on the continent, aren't they? I suppose they are. Uh, so, hey. I guess that bow must have been in that case you had with you when we first met, right? I've never seen one like it. Is there some kind of orbital mechanism built in? There is, but I don't see how that's any of your business. Ouch. Um, yeah. Anyone got any ideas on what to do now? We've all run into each other wandering around. How about we stick together? I think that would be for the best. It's not safe for a group of girls to travel alone. You may require protect... You needn't to be concerned about that. I beg your pardon? I don't mean to boast, but I'm confident my swordsmanship will be more than sufficient to protect us. For now, I think it's best to remain in separate groups. There are still two of us who remain unaccounted for. That's right. We still haven't run into that silver-haired girl. In that case, two teams means double the chance to find them. Two teams is double the coverage, and double the chance of crossing paths with our missing companions. How's that sound? I have no objections. So then, shall we be off? All right. We'll see the four of you later then. Doesn't seem like she's gonna let that go, does she? It was clearly an accident. Everyone could see that. But I don't suppose it makes any difference to her. Still, is no one else worried about leaving a group of girls to fend for themselves in a place like this? There are four of us here. Perhaps one of us should go follow them. I don't think we have anything to worry about as long as Laura's with them. She really wears her skill on her sleeve. I doubt she drags around a sword that big just for show. It's certainly an enormous blade. I'd call it comically huge if it didn't look so dangerous. But at the end of the day, a lady is a lady. She's taller and sturdier than I am. Though I admit it's still hard to believe anyone could swing that beast of a sword. I'll bet she can whip it around without breaking a sweat. The Arside School of Swordsmanship serves as a general basis for the techniques used by knights throughout the Empire. And her father, the Viscount, is arguably the strongest swordsman in the country. People, I doubt any of the other students here could even stand their ground against her in combat, much less beat her. Wow, interesting. I didn't know there were still roots of the old knightly styles alive in the Empire. You sure know a lot about this stuff, Reen. A hobby of yours? I'm a swordsman myself. I guess the lore sort of comes with the territory. At any rate, how about we pick up the search? I'm worried about that silver-haired girl. And we still need to track down Duke Alborea's son, too. That's true. <laughs> I couldn't care less what happens to that pompous ass. I can rot down here. <laughs> Come on, now. That's no way to treat someone you just met. Looks like the path splits. Which way do you think we should go? I feel a little wind blowing from the east. I bet the exit's that way. <laughs> Winds, give us your blessing. It's my turn.
What's wrong? M more monsters? No, not monsters. It's... <laughs> You're pretty sharp. Oh. It's the silver-haired girl. I'm glad to see you're all right. Though, it looks like there was nothing to worry about in the first place. Nope. I'm small and quick. These things can't lay a finger on me. Oh yeah, Fee Clausel. That's my name. You're just over halfway through. Keep it up. Later. Hey, wait! Are you sure you'll be okay on your own? I'll be fine. I'm used to this. See you at the end. What just happened? Wow! She certainly wasn't fibbing about being quick on her feet. I guess we really don't need to worry about her. Yeah, now I'm more convinced than ever that she knows exactly what she's doing. Just over halfway through? Has she already been to the exit and then come back? takes care of them. Time to waste. fighting up ahead. Uh, Rain! Wait for me! <laughs> Incredible. That was really something. Judging by that display, I don't think he needs any help from us. I take it that's another school of Imperial swordsmanship? Right. That's court fencing, an agile style favored by the nobility. And judging by his poise, he's no amateur. Huh? <sighs> <sighs> uh, did you need something? 
Sorry, I was just admiring your swordsmanship. I'm Reen Schwarzer. I didn't get the chance to introduce myself earlier. I I'm Elliot Craig. Guy Schwarzel. Nice to meet you. I believe I have already introduced myself, but once again, I'm Yusis Alborea. And I have to say, I didn't think you had it in you. What are you talking about? After all that bluster about finding your way to the exit alone, I wasn't expecting you to actually rely on others for help. I assume you came to your senses shortly after you stormed off, and then wandered back to apologize, like a truly the virtue of the common man. Why, a preening noble such as myself would be far too proud to do such a thing. What the hell is your problem? You nobles really are all the same. So full of yourselves, it's a wonder you don't pop. And you're not just a garden variety noble either. House Alborea is one of the high... I'll bet you just love looking down on us less fortunate souls, don't you? You're one to talk. I don't need a lecture in rank from the son of the Imperial Governor. Wait, what? Oh, I thought the name Regnitz sounded familiar. Carl Regnitz, the first commoner ever to hold the seat of Imperial Governor in Heimdall. The first to rule the capital. And this headstrong young lad just so happens to be a chip off that old block. Pretty rarefied air for a simple commoner, don't you think? What does that have to do with anything? Yes, my father is the Imperial Governor, but he earned that position through years of hard, honest work. Don't you go lumping him in with you nepotists who get your titles handed to you just for being born. Perish the thought. No, I mainly just regard your father as a reformist and a close friend of the Chancellor at that. <sighs> and as you're vividly aware, his faction is in conflict with the noble faction, led by none other than the four great houses. When you look at it that way, your vitriolic disdain for the nobility suddenly seems rather cheap, wouldn't you say? You son of M Magius, don't do it! I think you went a little too far, Eusis. Being at odds with Machius is one thing, but dragging his father into it is pretty low. You're better than that. Green. Perhaps I was a bit out of line. It may be for the best if I leave the four of you to find your way out of here together, while I make my way toward the exit. <sighs> I can see I've still got a lot to learn about the particulars of your social strata. Yeah, I'm sad to say these kinds of disputes are pretty indicative of how the Empire is these days. How are you feeling, Machius? Have you calmed down now? Yes, and I wanted to say I'm sorry. I shouldn't have gotten so riled up over such an obvious taunt. Y yeah you do kind of lose your cool maybe a little too easily. But is it true what he said? You're dead as the Imperial Governor? It's true. It's not that I was trying to hide it. I just don't like going around telling everyone. I don't like to brag. But just so we're clear, that doesn't change who I am. When you get right down to it, I'm a comp- My father's salary is nothing to boast about, and he doesn't have any of the perks nobles are born into. <laughs> I know, I know. Governor Regnitz is pretty well known for being clean as a whistle. Really? I've heard the name, but I can't say I really know anything about him. Uh, well, that's enough about my father for now. We need to get moving. We've wasted far too much time here as it is. He's right. We should get a move on. Good. 
My turn. Keep it up, everyone. Come on. It's my turn. My turn. Just getting started. An A plus outcome. <clears throat> he seems kind of imposing. I don't know how to break the ice. Let's keep moving.
Let's do this! All right, with me. Come on! All right. It's my turn. Eat that. Too slow. moving. Hey, are we... Looks like we are. That definitely seems to be the exit. I can see the sunlight streaming in, so I'm guessing we're finally clear. <sighs> they have the nerve to call this an orienteering exercise. Not certain what I was expecting from an academy founded by Emperor Drygols, but I can tell you this wasn't it. You can say that again. What was all that business about Class 7 anyway? Good question. We've got people here from different backgrounds, classes, even cultures. Is there some sort of secret agenda with this whole Class 7 thing that we just don't know yet? What was that? There. Monsters like this common in the Empire? Of course not! This sink's cutting off our only route to the surface. No choice. We have to fight it. Right. Damn. There I thought the worst was over. Helios, help us. This will take everything we have. My turn! Let's do this! All right, Leave it to me! Right! Give it up, everyone! It's my turn. There. Leave it to me! Leave it. 
it to me. My turn. turn. My turn.
Okay, it's safe for now. Is it dead? No, it's down, but not out. Huh? That's one hell of a second win. Looks like this thing has our number. It's no use. We're too spent to go another round with it. Guess I have no choice. I'll have to. Stand back! You certainly got some good timing. Oh, seems like you're all okay, at least. I'm sorry we took so long. You're here, and that's what counts. So, a gargoyle, is it? I didn't expect to find the Dark Ages alive and well down here. It doesn't seem like it'll go down easily. We gave it everything we had, but as you can see, it's rallying at an alarming rate. But with this many of us, if we can just find an opening? Fine. I guess I'll help out. So it's all come down to me, then. You! Arthas, activate! Yes! Airstrike! An opening! Go! I think that's the end of it. At the very least, that creature doesn't seem like he'll be coming back for a rematch anytime soon. What happened there anyway? Right at the end of the battle... Now that you mention it, I did feel something wash over me for just a second there. There was a shimmering veil of blue light surrounding each of us. Was there? I did notice something as we fought. Perhaps it was just the blur of combat, but I felt like I could see everyone's movements in precise detail. I don't think it was just your imagination. Agreed. I have a feeling what we just experienced was... The biggest selling point of the almighty Arcus? Give this man a prize. Looks like friendship and teamwork saved the day once again. I'm so proud of you guys. Anyway, that about finishes up today's special orienteering exercise. Aw, what's with the long faces? I thought you'd all be happy. What are we supposed to be happy about? I have so many questions, I'm not even sure where to start. Oh? I'll take a stab at it. What exactly is the purpose behind this Class 7? I mean, we get that it's supposed to be some sort of melting pot that includes a broad cross-section of people. But why were the nine of us chosen in particular? Hmm, that is a valid question. There's no single monolithic reason why you all made the list. But if I had to name a major contributing factor, it'd be those Arcus ornaments you've got there. How so? Well, like I explained earlier, 
The Arcus units are developed jointly by the Epstein Foundation and the Reinford Company. Like any battle ordnance, they let you use arts, and these have communication functionality built right in. But their crowning feature is what's known as combat linking. That's the phenomenon you all experienced just now. So that's what that was. It seems like a pretty apt term. It did feel like we were all connected somehow. Precisely. Doesn't take a genius to imagine how much of an advantage a feature like that would be on a real battlefield. An elite unit that can sense each other's movements, acting in perfect sync, even in the most chaotic conditions. You can hardly put a price on that. It could bring about a revolution in the way wars are fought. Hmm. It does sound rather idealistic. Well, yeah, the technology has its limits. Some have a natural aptitude for it, others just don't. And out of this year's fresh batch of bright-eyed students, the nine of you turned out to have the highest aptitude. And since aptitude trumps background in class seven, well, here you are. I see. But what gives us this aptitude, though, as compared to our peers? Just... What indeed? As promised, if any of you have objections to being in this class, speak now or forever hold your peace. I think that pretty much covers the hows and whys of your situation. But this program isn't cheap to run, so we're not about to force anyone into it if they don't want to be here. You should also be aware that Class 7's curriculum will be tougher than any other class's coursework. Just fair warning. So now you know, and that leaves you all with an important decision to make. Will you stick with Class 7 or not? If you opt out, you'll just be placed in the class you would have been assigned to otherwise. There's no pressure. Nobles will land in class one or two, commoners in three, four, or five. It's still just the first day, so there's no real catching up you'd have to do. I'm sure you'd fit in just fine. I'll do it. Whatever class seven has to throw at me, I'm game. What? Just like that? So you're the first, then. You seem pretty sure about it. Any particular reason? Not really. I just feel like I've put my family out asking them to send me to this school. So, if it gives me more to show for my time here, I'll take whatever opportunities come my way. Hmm, a noble sentiment. Count me in as well. The greater the challenge, the more I can push myself to excel. One can't hone a blade without grit, after all. Let's make it three. Considering how far I came to attend this school, it'd be silly to back down before I even started. Well, looks like we've got the country's strongest freshman on board, and our foreign exchange student, too. Any more takers? take part as well. I was only able to come because of the school's generosity, so I feel it's my duty to help in any way I can. S sign me up too! I kind of feel like fate brought us here for a reason, you know? And you all seem pretty easy to get along with. And that's a yes from our two Orville staff testers. Though I feel compelled to remind you, your weapons are still in the prototype stage, so on top of your other work, I'll be expecting reports from both of you. Uh, of course. <sighs> Maybe I spoke too soon. Let me join too. Huh? Oh, there's a surprise. I was almost certain your rebellious streak would see you opt out just on general principle. It does bother me that you've got us using these Arcus units that are still pretty clearly in development. But, if I let every little nitpick like that hold me back, I'd never amount to much. <laughs> Words to live by right there. And that brings us to an even six. Now, what about you, Fee? 
Don't really care either way. You can choose. Not this time. This is one call you're gonna have to make for yourself. That was the deal, remember? You need to take control of your own life. <sighs> Fine, I'm in. <sighs> well, at least you committed. We've got a magnificent seven now. Which leaves just the two of you. <laughs> I can see you got issues with each other, but that doesn't mean you can't at least try to work together. Why, if you just look past your differences and embrace the joys of youth, I'm sure you'll become the best of friends. Like hell we will! The exploitation of the common people by the aristocracy is a blight on every facet of Erebonian life. Unless something is done about it, this country has no future. I appreciate your candor, but I don't think you're going to achieve much by lecturing me about it. Well, at least that makes this simple. I, Yusus Alborea, claim my place as a member of Class 7. Huh? Wh why? You're the son of a duke! Just the thought of being in the same class as commoners should make you sick! I'll thank you not to tell me how I'm supposed to feel. As far as the House of Alborea is concerned, there's little difference between other nobles and commoners. Besides, this should at least ensure I won't have fools flitting about every day trying to win my favor. <laughs> That said, I have little interest in getting drawn into your petty arguments on a daily basis, either. I think it would be prudent for us to go our separate ways. I'm certain we can at least agree on this, no? I don't need some pompous ass who coasts through life on his father's coattails telling me what to do. I'm in. Come hell or high water. You might have had your successes spoon-fed to you up to now, but no outmoded class system is going to hand you trophies anymore. <laughs> We'll see about that. <laughs> They're going to be like this pretty much all year, aren't they? Sure seems that way. I wouldn't bet on them ever seeing eye to eye. Oh. <laughs> the pots shouldn't be too hard on the kettles. Give a guy a break. Well, how about that? Nine out of nine! With that, I'd like to congratulate all of you on being the first ever Class 7. I hope you keep those high spirits all year, because with the workload we've got planned for you, you'll need it. I wasn't expecting Class 7 to turn out quite as diverse as this. It certainly promises to be an interesting year. <laughs> you took the words right out of my mouth. But perhaps this, too, is the divine providence of the goddess, no? How do you mean? Well, seeing them there, I feel they have the potential to be the light we seek. A light that can break through the storm clouds that continue to build over our nation day by day.